Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I'm just looking at Loverboy live outside. They're playing at Fox. On famous Dan outside. Barbecue. Right. That's what they say. And, they uh, <laughs> wow. And if you're in the uh, neighborhood, Brad Gillis still plays? Avenue, drop on by. We've it's got like a everybody's eating hour. for the weekend. Everybody Who's singing for Loverboy? E-Rock? <laughs> Jesus, ah. what happened to him? <laughs> Sorry, E-Rock. <laughs> I have to share the love around here. Yeah. Serious XM signs that say we love Loverboy. We're just on. Are yeah. you kidding? They sent out the street they team. They sent out the street they team with Loverboy. Did they have signs printed up or are they handwritten? No, they're uh, on Serious XM signage. And then I think they wrote, like, there's a white space on the uh -huh. side. What whores. So that's it. Just they didn't go to, like, the Gaga or Rihanna concerts. They went to the Loverboy concerts. <laughs> <Just> to... <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> they're outside the Today Show window sometimes. Uh, oh, that's how fantastic. humiliating. <laughs> that's wonderful. How humiliating. Humiliated. That's but that's what they. Uh, who's, who's, oh, no, who's, right. who's We're idea to move on, right? Who's the idea man behind that? Uh, <laughs> Making a joke or holy something? Holy guacamole! <laughs> like, what if you had a serious X episode that says "Loverboy sucks"? Like that would be funny. And now that's funny. <laughs> See, that's funny. That's great. Oh, serious um, XM loves Loverboy, do ya? <laughs> hey, hey, hey! And now the Opie and Anthony show continues. Continues. This is after O and A live. Here's your host, Sam Roberts. It's after Opie and Anthony live. You think they can hear me? Not them. I mean the audience. We're live. Whoa, that was not a good sound. I'm Sam Roberts. Opie and Anthony are still in the studio, as is Travis and Roland. Jim's not in there, but Opie and Anthony are. Yeah, you're right, Eric. I'm not. I'm in the production room right now because Obi and Anthony are cutting some kind of uh, commercial that they're going to run on uh, the traffic channels. Why? I don't know. They're in there making traffic jokes as we speak. Travis is going to wave me in when they're done. That way I can run in. Anthony's interacting. Is that on the air? You can't hear me if that's on. Oh, sorry. I was listening to them. Well, I was, uh, was I off the air for a second? No, was that still on the air. I was just listening to the other studio. Oh. Was that in your head? Was that in both our headphones? Yes, but not on the air. But we can't do that. Okay, it's Opie. His headphones are off. So you don't. You have the monitor in here to watch them, but I don't have the monitor to watch you. Correct. What happened to our monitor in there? Mars broke it. Oh man. What did I do? I keep it. The mic was barely even plugged in. I don't know what's There's going Liam. On. Liam, we're live on the air in here. Why? Because the Opie and Anthony are cutting spots. We only have the one mic, so crowd oh, around. Opie and Anthony are. Yeah, they're cutting spots for the traffic channels. It's like a zoo, I can see them. In Who's there. that girl? Oh, that's my intern. Hello, Liam's Jenna. intern. How's how are you treating Jenna? I didn't realize we were live in here. You <laughs> bet we are. It's oh. after Opie and Anthony live. Hi, Anthony. Waving to Anthony. He's waving back. And Travis, we're live on the air. He can't hear me. It's soundproof. Of course not. Well, because it's radio. Yeah. Um, wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're gonna bring Loverboy back over in a little. Is that true? Is that cool? Of course, it's cool. Yeah, so What's yeah? Well, I don't. I mean, Lover Boy. What? Are, we'll play the new song if you I'll can. have to go back and get it. All right, we'll play the new song. I guess Lover Boy is going to be on the show. Later. They're going to perform. Really. They're going to perform. Well, I'm going to ask him to sing. Yeah. Get a guitar. That would be great. We'll just put some mics in front of a guitar. That's how we do things on After Opie and Anthony Let's Live. Go in and sing your hit. I guess somebody uh, heard me. Who's that guy in a tuxedo outside? Uh, he's a football player. Why is he wearing a tuxedo? I don't know. I guess somebody heard me earlier in the show. Watching Loverboy on Fox News and Sirius XM had their big signage in the crowd. And now they're coming here. This is weird doing the show from a production room. I mean, there's really not a lot of interaction that can go on. What we're in right now, we have a separate room that's attached to the Opie and Anthony studio. That's just for phone screening. And it's where Eric runs the board from while the show's on. Unfortunately, uh, as I said, Opie and Anthony are in the main studio. So we're stuck in here. In this little room. What were you just showing me? Uh, that's the football player that's here. Donnie Jones? Yeah. Why is he wearing a tuxedo? Who knows? It could be different. How much commercials are they possibly doing for the traffic channel? Do you want to pop them up secretly and hear it? Can I? Yeah, hold on. Would I hear myself still? Yeah. Okay. A little Alice there in it Chains. Is. Stay there. Just keep us in mind. Maybe <laughs> another day you could check us out. Yeah. I don't know. But we're right. But right now, stay right where you are. Yeah. That sounds like a commercial. Nothing, nothing going on on uh, our channel. 
Well, there is something. I, they're not talking about right now. They're doing commercials for the traffic channel. I think we went above and beyond the Call of Duty with this fucking copy. Okay, are they done, Travis? Can you hear me? Can I go back in there now? Now, if I go back in there, you rock. You have to talk for a couple minutes. Uh, can I go in there? Well, let's see where they're at. XM one hundred five. Ah, they're talking about XM one hundred six. That is this. The Anthony show is live right it's now. Live, OP, man. right now. You're, You're in the studio. Live because I'm like, wait a minute. Oh yeah, I'm one of the guys. So how can I? I can't say air their whole commercial in case we get in trouble. Yeah, we're, if we're live right now on XM 105 Series 2. Liam's got a guitar. Liam's got a guitar, but it's an electric guitar. Where are we going to plug it into? Go bring an amp. Oh, yeah, you guys got Bobo! <laughs> I, I got a stand -up. Bobo, what are you doing in here? We're live on the air. I forgot to mention, I do got a stand-up game. So what? There's only one mic, Bobo. Bobo's in here. Look who's in here, Travis. Travis is in the other street. Get away, man. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you trying? Danny's in here now. It's utter chaos. Nobody can hear you because we're both talking at the same time. Nobody can hear you. Ten dollars for what? Where are you going now, Bobo? You don't. You need to use deodorant when you come into a small room like this. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't. I smelled you from when you were right next to me, and you didn't use deodorant. Does your breath smell like armpits? No. <laughs> well, then it was your armpits. Wasn't it? Are they done in there? No, Let's find out. That's good. But we are but we are live right now on XM. How much copy do they have? They're just doing the same commercial over and over again. Management loves promos. Well, tell management they should love live shows. I'm not in my studio. I'm off my game. I'm going to try to get in there, though. Wait, Obi's walking away. Are they done? Okay, Sam, you talk. Eric, you talk. Okay, go. Drop the headphones. All right, Sam is leaving the producer's studio. He is now running, and they're locking the door. Oh, he got through. He's now in the main studio, and uh, they're blocking yeah, him from I, getting I, to the I, console. Yeah, there no. he get. He's turning the mic on. Can you hear me? Yeah, you're there. I don't really like these people oh, anymore. God. I got to go home. Who don't you like? <laughs> oh, what happened, Sam? We were listening to some of your commercial, but not all of it. Oh, oh. It on the shit hour? Well, the, you're, it's not the shit hour. It's after oh, Obi and Anthony. Yeah, yeah, we're on. You're on the air still. Oh, let me see. Oh, oh, okay. We were broadcasting out of that little room. Wow. Well, the room is little because e -Rock's in it. Ah! <laughs> see? Wow, fat joke. Uh, uh, oh, oh, hey, it's Whoa! not my show anymore. Whoa! I forgot it's not my show. So e -Rock could just chime in and give me some <laughs> some ribbing, a that, little ribbing. That, that room would feel like a gymnasium if he would just leave. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> if it was a gymnasium, he would be leaving. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's out of shape. He's not going to work out. Not gonna work out there. That's crazy. This is amazing. The cleanup is going on as we speak. You want your charger? Okay. Yeah, I want my charger. Well, then take uh, it from me. How cool is Ice T? He was awesome. He was the shiznit, I'd say. The shiznit. That's how you know it's said in the culture. Yeah, yeah. I I, I, I don't want to speak out of turn here, but that oh. cocoa has an amazing ass. Whoa! It's, uh, has it's that been said big. before? It's that was big, yeah. that was the best part of standing behind her as she took pictures with everybody. Oh, did you? What you were you jerking off? I was just <laughs> masturbating while she was taking pictures. Hey, yes. That's what I was doing. Where's E Rock? Did any of my photo bombs uh, work out today? Oh shit! Are you photo bombing? E Rock, where'd he go? How could he be lost? What the fuck? Where did he go? Where'd he go? He knew he wanted to play some basketball. Oh shit! <laughs> Back to the gymnasium. All right, guys, I don't mean to make you jealous. Yeah. But Why here comes here because he booked Loverboy on this show. Are you <laughs> shitting me? Yes. How wow. is your job? We booked the Loverboy that on is... this show. We they're gonna play. Wait, Loverboy is playing on the shit hour? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are you kidding? Me? Are you no. kidding? I thought it would be Wait, funny. You're now booking guests. Yes. That is fantastic. I saw Loverboy on Fox News. And then Eric told me, they're coming in and playing, right? I'm not fucking yeah, talking are. to Loverboy. <laughs> Holy shit. If this shit. was 1984, I'd talk to Loverboy, but get the fuck out of here. Loverboy's coming in in like 10 minutes to play. This is ironic because I'm going to be working for the weekend That's right. by leaving no! uh, and getting in my car and <laughs> driving home. Why? Could you want to listen to Loverboy quick? Did you guys really oh. book Loverboy I, for I, this I, hour? I told Eric to book him, and oh, they're coming in. Hilarious. Yes. How easy, how easy was it to book Loverboy? I don't know. I think those were here from before. Very. Who's they were more than excited. Because they had nobody else here to interview them. Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah, usually it's... 
Usually it's like. Uh, Why are you making this hour worse? Yeah. What do you mean what worse? You, <laughs> with the lover boy looking. <laughs> Iraq's Paris Hilton picture Travis. sitting on the desk. Well, yeah. I, I brought this in so if Ant wants to take this to the shooting range, oh. he's more than welcome to. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't shoot. A, a, Hanging up in the studio. Like that. How funny would it be? That's the, your dreamy eyes, though. How funny the picture comes back and you can still see Paris Hilton. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Bobo's. The shooting uh, range oh, joke. Bobo's still here and he's super pissed off that you guys didn't plug his I, comedy gig. I don't know. Bobo. He could listen Daniel to Daniel Lover Boy. He can't come in. You, how are you doing Lover Boy? What do you mean how? Is that, are, they, are they doing an acoustic set? Uh, they're going to come in. There's they, an amp They right want to talk about their new single and who, then they'll perform is, for us. Who, who's, right. Whose guitar is that? I don't know. Uh, that, oh, no, that's the no. company's. That's not theirs. Oh, no. oh, that makes it even better. Uh, <laughs> no, Eric. no. What are, you, what are you doing? We would blame that on E-Rock. All right, have fun with the Lover Boy. You're not going to stick around for Lover Boy? I saw no. him. Because we were... <laughs> We were talking about him this morning. I, Remember? I, I, and you said, you know, we said, wouldn't it be funny if can, Lover Boy was in can here? Can I tell you exactly what I said this morning? At 5 30 ish in the morning, we were driving by, what was it across the street? Fox? Fox, yeah. And they had a stage set up. You might have saw it on TV today. Yeah. And I heard the most horrendous <laughs> Lover Boy music blasting yeah. all through Times Square. And I look at Kenny, who was driving me in today, and I go, that better not be, what's his name, Mike Love? I have no idea. I have no idea. I, I go, that I better not be the lead singer of Loverboy because he sounds horrible. Well, he said, who the hell's covering Loverboy? Oh, you were the oh. Yeah, and then I go, too. it's Loverboy. <laughs> it's Loverboy. So then we were trying to figure out, was it the, like, uh, the people behind the scenes trying to get the sound right? And that's what they do. And yeah. I'm hoping that was the case because this was the worst sounding lover no, boy it was ever. Really them. This is another example of when those guys can't hit the high notes anymore. When yeah. that part when he goes get uh, get ready, let's go. Yeah, he's supposed to go that part. Yeah, couldn't hit it. He went go. go. And he just but is it crackled cool. off is it the confirmed mic. that that was lover boy or could it have been? I sound don't know. People? Dan, da, 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 I, I down, sure hope down, it wasn't. Down, down. I sure hope it wasn't. It was horrendous. And I, what were Opie and E Rock doing in the car together this hey, morning? Hey, do tell, do tell. Ooh, Eric. Spin. Bill, giving Spill. a little information there. Uh, actually, I think you should bring in Kenny because when Kenny's I walked out of my, in my building, truck waiting for me. Kenny, Kenny said that Iraq gave him a hand release this morning. What? Wow, that's what he told I me. Needed a ride, so I had to do what I had to do. You Amazing. Call, Kenny drove you to work. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. I, I didn't know Iraq was a this. star. I Kenny, Iraq has a driver oh. now. His car took this shit. Well, that, that doesn't oh. mean I walked out of my building and the the windows in Kenny's truck were very fogged up. That's all I know. Oh okay, my gosh. okay, I, Ian. And then Iraq jumped. In, <laughs> and then Iraq jumped out of the front seat and got in the back seat. That's all I'm oh, saying. Shit. That's what I saw. Apparently, Eric is too fancy for uh, public transportation. Your Casey's um, crying. Who's I know. Crying? I feel so bad. Casey Anthony was uh, taken ill when she uh, was forced to look at horrible pictures of her oh. dead uh, daughter. Is that what she pulled oh, yesterday? It's just, yeah, she, so she had to leave the courtroom. I feel so bad for her. Dude, if we stick Aww. around two more minutes, we're going to have to talk to Loverboy. Yeah, let's just go to stick the... around. Talk to me about Casey Anthony. No, we, you we, think she's not no, guilty, no, correct? We have to be at the Kaja Goo Goo concert. <laughs> You don't want to uh, hear the new single? Hang out here. You don't want to hear the new single? I wouldn't fucking listen to the new single. Let's li if me You're life Sam, depended turn it on. on. Let's play the new single. I don't have he I don't have headphones, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. You're not getting me. <laughs> you, you guys got four minutes. Yeah. Samson cahoots with management. If How do you figure? You're watching, finding ways to make us stay till eleven. If it was you, this is. Everyone's looking. <laughs> You're missing the song, you. Opie. You're missing the song. Get Whoa. another party. Everyone's wondering. <laughs> Will you come out tonight? You could sing that song to this. Everyone's trying to get it right. Get it, get it right. right. Yeah. That, oh, that isn't this song? It sounds similar. Oh, oh. You'd think. Are they listening to the uh, uh, to After Opie and Anthony Live before they do our show? No. They're at 80s on 8 right What's now. What's their other hit? There was, uh... Did they have another hit? Oh, yeah, yeah. You think the 80s guys are sick of... Interviewing the '80s guys, oh, yeah, God. like it's not the over '80s anymore. Again. What do you guys? And you know uh, who the '80s guys are? They're all former MTV VJs. No, no it's yes. great about the '80s channel. They could never say no to an '80s band. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're walking around like, oh fuck, I got to talk to. Fucking, and they're never uh, gonna. It's never gonna be like, 
if we do these guys, we can get somebody current because they're never going to get anybody do you, current. Do you think the booker comes in and says, like, I got Wang Chung? And then, <laughs> and then the guy's like, I don't want to uh, hear Wang Chung. Uh, I don't want to interview him. And then the, the booker goes like, please get Wang Chung. Oh, oh Roland, I'm sorry, Roland. Team Only Fez. Fez I didn't mean that. Team, <laughs> team Fez. Fez. Anthony's the, Team Fez. The 80s channel is frozen in time. Like, Yeah, it really is. It just has to stop at... Uh, 89. That's it. Yeah. I, I love to, because uh, I do listen every once in a while. Oh, they're coming in right now. I can't. <laughs> ah, I got you. I got you totally got it. Uh, <laughs> I was ready to run. And you hear the old M I, I, the observation. You hear the yeah. MTV uh, old jocks on the 80s channel talking about all the 80s music and blah, blah, blah. But they like talking about new music and think it, oh, you really got to check out. I, I forgot what it was. It was like, if you like this, you'll like that. But it's something very current, but they're, they're mm. not allowed to play it. You know? <laughs> they can't. Even though they love it. They can mention it, but they can't put they it can on. They can mention That's... how great it is, but and it is based on something from the 80s, but they're not allowed to it's play the it. the curse of uh, Niche Radio. Uh -oh. Liam. Oh. Are they, are they almost Mars, here? I'm not, yeah, almost, I'm gonna... Mars, you setting up for the big, uh, for the big gig? Um, you, you can't shake the speaker. We you have to plug it in. We asked them if they want to play, but... I'm assuming there's going oh, to be. Shit. You might have Loverboy oh, without them playing. No. <laughs> Holy the fuck. fuck. I have got to get out to the truck and listen to You're this. You're going to want to see this. No, You're going to want to see it happen. Listen to I am this. leaving right now. Kenny, right. I'll be right down. All right. I am leaving. And you could keep the Nagel sex man fucking Harris <laughs> Hilton. It's We're not even good enough to I'm shoot. Done. We're going to put it up in the studio. Oh, fuck that. Oh, wow. Liam, do you think they're going to play? I do. Because when they when I initially booked them to do other stuff here, they were like, "Do you want them to play?" And I didn't have the facilities to do it, so I said no. But Little did you know, you could just set up some amp. Yeah, I didn't realize. Just it. throw it together. Who well, cares? Mars is here. Mars has got it on lockdown. So Mars is perfect. Ours is working for the weekend. Yeah, he is working almost for the weekend. Are you pissed off that you have to do work after ten? No. <laughs> Oh, this wow. be good. This do you have a... any idea what you're going to ask them? No, I don't even know any of their names or anything. They Mike, do work... Mike Reno, that's the lead singer. They said Mike Love a minute ago. No, Mike that's Reno. the Beach Boys, actually. So they do working for the weekend? Yeah. That's you don't it. know anything about this band, do you? I know nothing so this about could... this band. Maybe what I other didn't songs want do they have, this. Liam? <laughs> Did they do anything else besides working for the weekend? I'm the wrong person to ask. They're from Canada. You can talk to them about hockey. You know How hockey? long do I have to talk to them for? Just talk to them yeah, about Rush. As long as you want. We can do 10 minutes, whatever. Ten minutes. It's up to you. I'm thinking three. Oh, <laughs> I feel like three is. You a should very do short one question interview. live. <laughs> Can you Wikipedia it real quick over there? Is no, I don't know. Nah, I mean, I gotta concentrate on hosting this show. Oh, okay. I mean, I have the physical ability to. But Liam, what yeah. do you think if Sam does one question live? One. <laughs> That'd be Just terrible. A, Can how we many, not do that? How many lover boys are there? Uh, there's two people. Oh, okay. So it's not like a full awkward man. No, it's Mike Reno and Paul Dean. I'm gonna write that down. Yeah. I'll remember it. Mike Reno, like the city. In Nevada. Yeah. And then Paul Dean. See, but I was going to say... they're from Vancouver. I was going to say Paul Reed. It's Paul Dean. Paul I had Dean. already forgotten it since you asked. Right. That's good. That was you that put Bobo in the uh, phone screening room while we were stuck in there, isn't it? No. No, I swear that was not me. <laughs> Who was it? It was someone else on the Opie and Anthony staff. That... Oh, it was Danny. I saw him in there. Well, I didn't say that either. Oh. Well, I saw... Okay, hang on. Why did Eric leave the mic on? Well, I guess it's, it adds to the charm. He left the mic on while he's phone screening. Yeah. But I guess it adds to the charm of, you know, like, it's after go, Opie and Anthony. I'm going to get a press release so you have that in front of you as well. Let's, let's do that. What do I need all that for? To do an interview? We are just talking about Loverboy. Oh, How'd you yeah. get the name of your band? <laughs> well, what time? Oh. Marge, what do you think is going? This is a disaster, huh? Why do you sound so confused? Because I don't know what's going on. Like, I guess Loverboy's coming in. Yeah, but you wanted that. Well, I just kind of jokingly said to Eric, let's get him on the after show. And then once O&A was over, Eric goes, all right, you got Loverboy at 1030. Because it never happens. Every guest that's ever walked in here, I've said, why don't we have them on after O&A Live? And they're never on the show. Some bad news. What's oh. that? Loverboy may have to cancel. No! No! Because they, they just got booked on another show. What show? What show? Um, it's a, Fox and Friends. You're lying. They he's were just lying. On, they were on Fox and <laughs> Friends this we, morning. We know where he's lying. Look at, look at his face. You just keep asking questions <laughs> yeah. until... See, I'm, I'm sure the equipment works. <laughs> I'm sure the equipment works. <laughs> okay, I got a text message. Yeah. Ask Reno where his red leather pants are. Okay. That made, I don't know if it's an insulting question or not. It is. It is. Do you know anything about Loverboy, Roland? I do. What do you know? They were one-hit wonders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this could go... Uh, question South? for Sam for Loverboy. Um, hey Sam, just do what Fez does, cries, and or says nothing. This is not the place to do that. 
Uh, Andrew in New Jersey, you you're on. I wrote that joke. For you're me. on after Opie and Anthony live. Yes, Sam. You could start with this question because they might not get pissed off. But just ask them if they can make a living off of that one song because every zookeeper in the world plays it every Friday. Oh, like on the radio? Yeah. Yeah, That's working for the weekend. They play that oh. song. That's a good question. Sam. I'm going to say morning zoo. Great, great question. I'm going to use that one. Isn't it the whole band, Loverboy, coming in? Like five of them? There's only two coming in. Uh, There's only two? Uh, Liam We're said. making the rest stand outside. So what are they going to do? One thing, play guitar, the other one clap his hands <laughs> on the drums? <laughs> Look, Roland. <laughs> like this. I haven't worked out every element of how this is going to go. Chris in Long Island, you have a question I could ask? Uh, yeah, ask him. Listen, they're not one-hit wonders. Hot girls in love. They got uh, Get Lucky. I've never heard of those songs. Do you want to keep them on so yeah. you can interview them? Well, you, you, guys, you guys are what, 30 years old? I'm 27. <laughs> That's how, probably how long ago those songs came out. Yeah, Get Lucky's not in the system. Ask, ask, ask your mom about those songs, okay, Sam? Okay. She probably knows. Have her interview them. <laughs> I will. Maybe I should call my mom and say, look, lover boy, I'm not familiar with your work, but my mom is a big fan. Here and she also is. she makes one hell of a mean carrot cake. Thank you, Roland. I just screened that other song the guy was talking about, Hot uh -huh. Girls in Love. Don't recognize it at all. All right, if you don't recognize it and you worked in radio for a while, you know. I got the hits of the greatest songs from Loverboy. The hits of the greatest songs? The greatest hits. <laughs> you just said they... Turn Eric, did you just hear him say, He's... I got the hits of the greatest songs? He's still learning he... English. Hey, you, you, you Weren't got... you born in this country? You know, turn <laughs> loose? Um, did, did you hear his mom's name is Rosetta Stone? <laughs> <laughs> Good comeback. Mars. Ray in Virginia, you're on <laughs> After Opie and Anthony Live. Who loves you, baby? Sam. What's up, Ray? Love show, Sam. Thanks, Ray. Uh, listen, uh, one way you can piss him off is the uh, the original bassist died. He was in his boat off uh, San Francisco, and he, and he drowned. You could always call the new bassist uh, by the old bassist's name. Well, I don't know if I want to upset Loverboy. The new bassist, his name is Spider. Wow. Sp and actually, you can ask Mike Reno if he caught fat. From Ann Wilson when they sang Almost <laughs> Paradise on the Flash Dash soundtrack. All right, thanks, Ray. Hey, uh, Anthony. Hi, I, I couldn't have, get enough of, of the shit hour, <laughs> so I figured I'd call in because I forgot. I, I believe Loverboy is the band that had the contest on MTV years ago where they needed a girl for one of their music videos, and she turned out to be a fat slob. <laughs> And pretty much wrecked the video. Really? But she was only she was only in it for I think under a second <laughs> because she was such a dog. And and the the hot you know '80s video girls were, were uh, being all hot. Of course. And they tried to put this girl in, and she was a slop. Okay, I just wrote so, down MTV contest music video, so I'll ask them about that. Yeah, ask them. It was a music video contest. It was win uh, a chance to uh, to be in a Lover Boy video. And uh, I want to know what their opinion was when they saw the girl, saw she was a pig. Did they go like, oh, fuck, what are we going to do with this mess? <laughs> what, what have we done? This has been a mistake. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. See, I need to know. And then we could maybe make... God damn it. I could maybe make some kind of comparison to E-Rock in the other room. Something you could laugh at. Uh, sure. <laughs> That's just a crutch. But I need an answer. I've been waiting since uh, the, the early 80s for an answer to this. Well, I'll, fig I'll find the answer for you. It's like Lionel oh. Richie. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Anthony. Yeah, I still don't, I, did, did you notice I, I call on the regular line because I still don't have the hotline number? To yeah, I was... fucking show. Yeah, E-Rock was just shouting in my headphones, pick up line one, pick up line one. I thought it was a different Anthony. <laughs> and then I was like, uh, you're just calling the regular so line. Someone email me the hotline number. This sucks. Somebody's calling the hotline. It must be Kenny. Why would he call while you're on the air? To plug his Facebook. I don't know. But let me tell you something. It's real easy to get through to your show, man. <laughs> well, I don't. <laughs> I don't usually take calls. Oh, okay. Then. Even Liam's laughing at him. <laughs> people, people are not conditioned. Uh, oh, it's Joe. It's brother Joe. Aunt, you stay on on the line. I can take you both. Brother Joe, you're on with your brother Ant. I have a great question, and how about this? We, sh we should ask Mike Reno how they got that drummer to freeze so still uh, on, <laughs> on the breaks on, the, on, uh, on uh, working for the weekend. That makes yes. stupid fucking faces. How they do that? Making, yeah, and why did the drummer allow that uh, uh, video to go out like that, where he's just making retarded faces uh, during the freeze I frame? More, I, was, I was thinking more asking him, like, how they did it. Like, like, how did they get him to stop so still suddenly? 
I'm going to ask oh, him that. Like, like they didn't freeze Raymond. It actually was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just ask him a stupid fucking question. <laughs> That's a pretty stupid fucking question. <laughs> I'm going to ask them both. The, I'm going to ask both the Kumia questions. Yes, yes, mandatory. Uh, all right, uh, entertain me. I'm driving home. Entertain me. Will do, boss. All right. I'm on my way to Chicago. I'm going to Soldier Field to play tonight. Oh, Soldier Field? Where are you playing? What, what, what position are you in? <laughs> All right, bye, Kumia boys. Well, both on at the same time. And I guess Brother Joe's out in Chicago if you want to see him play. And Joe has a hotline. <laughs> yeah, Brother Joe called in on the hotline, and Anthony uh, called in on the regular line. Mars. Sir. Or the text. Tech, is it all set up to your liking? Is this going to sound? Because I want this to really sound great. Primo sound for what we got today. <laughs> I see we have an amp. And we have our regular mic pointed at it. Correct. Is that technically what? Have I covered all the bases? For what we got in this room, yes. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're squared away. Um, this wouldn't be what we call in the business a performance studio? No. Do you want okay. me to test out the drums? There you go. There's okay, there. good. All right, Mike Reno and Paul Dean. Liam just handed me the press release for Loverboy. Loverboy releases iTunes single. It's an iTunes single. They didn't put it out on like a CD. You know what that means, Mars. No, really. Coldplay does that. Yeah, but people download that. I mean, Coldplay does it as a statement. For free, sometimes. N not as like a... Uh... Who's on line 10, Eric? No, oh, I bet it's Kenny. Who's on line 10? Hi, I just had a really long day at work, and I was wondering if you guys could play <laughs> elderly woman behind the counter in a small town. We're not doing requests right now, mystery caller. That's my favorite Pearl Jam song, and it would really make uh, the ride home that much better. By the way, mystery uh, mystery caller, uh, E Rock just whispered in my the radio and uh, listen to my voice now. Thank oh, okay, thank you, mystery <laughs> caller. Uh, Eric, you didn't have to whisper. That was Opie in my headphones. I know who it was. I wasn't listening to what was going on in here. I'm aware of who it was. He goes, I'm, I'm talking to him. And he goes, that was Opie. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. Thanks, Columbo. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing the emotions that Roland goes through. You can hear this joyous laughter. Or earlier this week, it was tearful crying. I see a hand shaking out there. Uh -oh. Is that lover boy? Yeah. I don't know what they look like, Roland. I don't know if it's them. You could put two guys in here. Google doesn't know who they are. <laughs> that monitor is not on behind you for me to see. I turned it off for the uh, when I was videoing. Yeah, we don't have that much time left, which is probably a blessing. Oh, they're coming. Oh, they are. I was hoping they'd take a couple more minutes. Um, did you fix it? Yeah, it's, the, the thing's all good. The monitor. Roland's opening the door like this is his booking. This is a doesn't picture. even count. This is a picture oh, back in the day. Well, that doesn't help me. <laughs> I was checking if they're on the way for you. Oh, I, I appreciate that, Roland. <laughs> and you. Mars is putting up pictures of them from 1987 as if that's what they at all what they look like. Another hotline call. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Remember when we used to play O&A clips on this show? Oh, Anthony's back on. Anthony, you're on after Opie and Anthony live. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. I, I, is Martha Quinn there? <laughs> no, this is not the 80s channel. <laughs> I wanted to talk to Martha Quinn. This is, you got the wrong number, sorry. This is not the 80s channel. This is after Opie and Anthony live on the virus, and we're going to talk to Loverboy. Oh, I thought it was uh, the 80s channel. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, thank you. thank you very much. Another mystery caller. I guess Eric put his name up as Anthony. I'm assuming that was supposed to be mystery caller unknown. <laughs> Yeah, but Morris, you could put that picture up. I don't know who's who. Which one? Of, which two of those five are coming into the studio? We got someone on the hotline. Hello, you're on After Opie and Anthony Live. Yeah, I uh, want to file a complaint to the customer service. I uh, just try to make a Pearl Jam uh, request on the Pearl Jam <laughs> channel. And not yeah. only did the DJ say he wasn't going to play the play the song, he says he doesn't play music at all. What am I paying for if <laughs> if I'm tuning in the Pearl Jam station and the DJ refuses a to play my request and b refuses to play Pearl Jam at all? <laughs> Thank you. This is not customer. Don't get back to me. My number is. Don't 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 say your number. This is not customer service. This is the virus. You called the same DJ, and we do not play music here. And I believe I believe once again that that was Opie. I think it was Opie. So I don't think he was taking this seriously. Oh, 
Okay, so the text message I got was right because one of the guys in that picture is indeed wearing leather pants. Red leather pants. Red leather pants. Is that the guy that I'm talking to? Mike Reno? You don't know, do you, Mars? No, no, I do not. You know, like, mariachi bands and stuff like that. Not this stuff, right? That's right. <laughs> Salsa bands. You like that? Salsa? What were you thinking when Coco walked in today? I wasn't um, thinking because I didn't see her. Oh, hotline. Hello, you're on After Opie and Anthony Live. Hi, is this Sam Roberts? Yes. Sam, I just want to say, you have been doing a great job on the uh, After ONA. Thank uh, you. I listen every day. And uh, I want to uh, just please continue uh, doing a great show. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, he got oh. me. He <laughs> bumped me. <laughs> Where's the phone screeners? I can't believe I got gotten like that. Oh, my God. Who's this? No, this is that football player who's in the tuxedo. And, yeah, no, that's not Loverboy. That's some guy who works here who I don't know his name. But, yeah, I don't know. That's that football player. I, I mentioned his name at the top of the show. But he's wearing a tuxedo here. I have no idea why. He must not realize this is a casual environment. Uh, but, Mars, you were talking about Coco's uh, ass. Actually, I wasn't. You were asking me about her. But yeah, I, you were going to answer it, and that would be you talking about it. I didn't it. see her because I was busy. What, come on. What? What were you busy doing? Working. Hotline, hotline. Uh, after Opie and Anthony Live, who's this? Hi, is this Sam Roberts? <laughs> yes, this is Sam Roberts. I'm calling to inform you that your blue blue... Blue Boy Blow Up Doll is ready for pickup. This is a prank. Features. This I swear this is a prank call. I do not. I did not order any doll. You didn't order the Blue Boy Blow Up Doll <laughs> with real features. No, I didn't order the Blue Boy Blow Up Doll. But these prank call voices are very similar to a certain <laughs> mid '90s Boston uh, radio show. There they go. That that prank caller is gone. What are you? Here? Wait, what's wrong? I think they're here. Oh. Why did you just get... Who told you that? There's a, no, everybody's taking pictures of that football player in the tuxedo. Mars, I still haven't gotten to the bottom of Coco's ass with you. You didn't get to see it? No, not 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 like I wanted to, but... I, well, I, I had a good trick. I was telling Aunt. Right. While she was lined up, she took pictures with a bunch of people. Right. Um, I just stood behind all of them, so she had her back to me the whole time. Take a look at the ass that way. Nice. It nice. looked it looked good, it, even though it wasn't in a very revealing outfit. I was hoping for something a little more revealing that we see, you know, Coco in. But I guess she is living her day to day life. She can't walk around in a string bikini all the time. That's she? a little difficult with an ass like that. Yeah, I mean, it's a liability. How come you didn't, you know, make sure you were in this studio the way you do with the UFC fighters? Is it a gay thing? <laughs> no, not gay thing. <laughs> I'm just asking because it's like those are very muscular guys. You always make sure. Well, you're in the studio when an MMA guy is here. Well, she's married. Hotline. O and A. Who's oh, after Opie and Anthony live? Who's this? Yeah, Martha Quinn. Could you play some Billy Squire? <laughs> this is uh, not. This is not uh, 80s on eight. I, yeah, Martha. Tell Martha you're the screener. No. <laughs> I want to hear Billy Squire stroke, stroke me, stroke me for um for I, I want to dedicate it to uh, uh Anthony Weiner. <laughs> That's it? yeah. It's very funny. I'll tell Martha All that. Right. Yeah, Stroke Me by uh, uh, Billy Squire. Tell Martha. Got it. Love the 80s. Long live the 80s. Got it. Thank you so much, but this is not 80s on 8. And as uh, the hotline callers have gotten through with all their prank calls, the regular lines are all completely full of people who obviously want a prank call as well. Look at look at the phone, Mars. Every single line is oh, full. look at that. Do just, you, just pick up the phone lines. Just go for yeah. it? Yeah. All right, we'll take a call from... Is Loverboy going to get in here? It's 1045. I mean, 45 after the hour for those listening on the replay. Uh, or in a different time zone. Derek, you're on After Opie and Anthony Live. How can you rag on somebody that hasn't put, put out a single... Rumble! <laughs> They're not even... Wiener's Wiener! Good one, Derek. Thank you. They're not even in here yet. I got the one minute... From Roland. If, I, I hope so. This is good, though, Mark. How long do we have till today, Eric? 52 or 56? Is he, <laughs> he's not even oh, in the other he's, room. <laughs> he's probably screening calls. Because the phones are going crazy yes, today. Yes, 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 you yes. can go as long as you want. Oh, shit. But what if I what if I want to go a lot earlier? What if like they get in here at 1048 and I want to go till 1049? We can just play Loverboy till 11. Oh, good, good. Okay, good. Um, Tom needs to talk to the host. That's me. Tom, you're on After Obi and Anthony Live. 
Man, Kyle, love you, love your show. <laughs> <This> is, <laughs> kind of wacky stunts you have turd doing today. This is not the Man Cow Show, Tom. Oh, this- Dot Tom. Shane. Yeah, uh, you uh, albino negroids, you belong on Nickelodeon. <laughs> I've uh, eaten mac and cheese and steak fingers with the rest of the kids. I've been on Nickelodeon when I was young. Uh, you need to go back. Thank you, Shane, for absolutely nothing. My buddy Struff. I know you're not going to steer me wrong. Struff, you're out after Opie and Anthony Live. We usually don't take calls, Mars. Struff. Oh, wait. This is, uh, oh, I thought this was the uh, your overnight music show. I was going to request the Lady Gaga song. This is not Hits 1. You knew that, Struff. You oh. knew that going in. Oh, okay. Well, how about Movie Theory? What are you guys doing? No, that's today? that's Saturday. You, you, oh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, then I'm, I'm sorry. My mistake. Go, Thank go you, Struff. To, well, Sammy, yeah. Sammy, you giving out tickets and hit one for Rihanna? Uh, we're not giving them out. There's a contest. What Hotline. Uh, after yeah. Opie and Anthony live, who's this? Yeah, I'm, I'm stuck in the <laughs> the Midtown Tunnel and I can't get reception. Could you just leave me on hold so I can listen to the show? <laughs> yeah, if you really want to stay on hold, I'll leave you on hold. Uh, just for like three minutes until I get through the tunnel. Okay, hold on, caller. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I love the voices. <laughs> um, wow. The phone lines are completely... I mean, Eric, we didn't have to screen this much before. Roland is walking this way. What's the update? Three minutes. Oh, other way. Three minutes. Okay, this could be good, because then I'll only have to spend, like, two minutes with them, um, maybe. They're going to perform. They are going to perform? Yeah. Wow. Okay. I'll do preview. Working for the weekend. <laughs> yeah. Now, was that Roland or Roland is Fez? Oh, how says working for the weekend. You really think that's gonna uh, you're gonna have a meeting after that one? Probably. You think so? I think an overall meeting. Is there a Liam pizza party today? Um, there's a pizza gathering for Liam. And who's invited? Whoever got the invites already is invited. Did I get an? I don't think I got an invite though. Oh boy. Oh man. I kid. You could come. Uh, I can't believe how many... See, Anthony, let this be a lesson. Try to get through on the regular lines now. They're completely jammed up. Cigars and scotch. Holy crap, daytime Sam Roberts. This is an honor. Um, I was just wondering, with the name of the band Loverboy, is there an Ambla tie-in? <laughs> That's, a good... That's a great question to ask. I'll try to get to the bottom of that. Uh, Mike in New Hampshire. Yeah, uh, you need to ask uh, Loverboy what their thoughts were on uh, that song they used in Saturday Night Live with Chris Farley doing the strip tease with uh, Patrick Swayze. Oh, yeah, the famous dance. What song did they use? They said Working for the Weekend, the famous dance. They did Working for the Weekend? Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm going to write that down. That's a good question, Mike. Let me write that down. S-N-L. Is their famous clip. Farley Swayze. Okay. It's where they were in the like uh, Chip and Dell's outfits. All right. Thank you, Mike. Roll yep. it. Uh, Pete, you're on After Opening Anthony Live, Pete. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. Is this the Grateful Dead channel? No, Pete, you got the wrong <laughs> channel. How can people be this careless with their phones? Trucking is a great song. I'm like, I need that song. Just do it. Help well, me out. There's nothing I can do for you, Pete. Wavy Gravy? No, I know about Wavy Gravy, but again, this is a talk channel. Oh, We're just Wavy Gravy? We're going to talk to Loverboy in a couple minutes, I'm... Pete. I'm done with you. Craig in Texas. Hey, how's what, it going, guys? What's up, Craig? You know how you can tell when they're coming down the hall? I can tell you how. How? They'll be the guys riding the little rascals. Because <laughs> they're very old, you mean? Yeah, they're old. <laughs> They'll have the comb over, you know, with the ball spot. It'll, it'll be kind of cool. <laughs> gotcha. Thank you, Craig. Uh, Bob, you're on After Opie and Anthony Live. This is the squeakiest fucking show on radio. The door squeaks, the mic rigs squeak. Do, do you need to hire an engineer? Do you have anybody working up there? Well, Mars right now is working on making sure the sound equipment is good, but we leave all the mics on to get that sort of, you know, backstage feel on the show. And by the way, Bob, you missed a great opportunity. If I were you, I would have said the doors are squeaking, the mics are squeaking, and the show's host is squeaking. Sam, come on. You, you could have done it. Thanks, Bob. Uh, Jim. Hey, buddy. I'd like to call in with an Ichiban. That's the wrong show, Jim. That's Ron and Fez that does Ichiban. They're coming in now. Jim, I don't have time for your nonsense, okay? I'm sorry. Okay. They're coming in right now. Uh, Loverboy is on their way to the After Opie and Anthony Live studios. What's up, guys? What's up? Mars, which... Where do you want them? Do I just pot up all the mics? All those couch mics? Uh, this is uh, six and seven. Six and seven. Yes, sir. That's They're how, on. That's all how you get count. <laughs> <laughs> That's how, how how high Mars can count, Roland says. All right, let's see. 
I'm really glad we don't have a lot of time left on this show. That door's even squeakier than... Oh, is that the mic? The, the wider you open it, though, squeakier it gets. Because why would it work? That's not a good response. I don't know what we're going to talk to Loverboy about. I'm really glad that uh, there's only a couple minutes left on this show. Because this could get weird. I mean, this isn't even a real show. Roland, you're just creaking the door on purpose. You know what I could do? What? Is while you're talking, if you throw the board and program over there, yeah, I could just end the show and go into commercials and then what? Do, and then I have to awkwardly and into Ron and Fez stuff, and you can just be in there by yourself. <laughs> well, no, because I don't want to sit here and have to talk to Loverboy about nothing. I was uh, joking when I said book this band. I was kidding. No, you weren't. He did it. I know who did it. I know Eric did it, but I was just kidding around. Well, how come every other guest I've ever asked for, it doesn't happen? But come now on, you're a professional. Get in there and All do right. your job. You're right. You're right, Eric. You can do this. You want right. to prove to the management that uh, you deserve your own show? Well, listen, no, I mean, the phone lines are off the chain yeah, full I right can't, now. I can't keep up with the calls. It's amazing. Well, I'm not going to take any calls right now because have we have very... PP. Time, right? So we'll just we'll just talk, talk to them for a minute, play the tune, and be out. I don't think they're going to be able to play in the five minutes that we have. Five minutes? We, we've got time. We'll just play like a couple licks. No, because Ron and Fez had come on at 11 o'clock. No, they come on at 11.10. No, they don't. Yeah, yeah it's around 11.10. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, we play, Ron and Fez come on whenever Ron and Fez come on. So you can go past 11. Yes. Eric says yes. Eric says, I mean, he's my supervisor right now. You see that, Eric? That's the card I like to play because technically Eric's title that the bosses gave him is above mine. Even though, you know, I'm a take charge type of guy, when it comes time to like figuring out who's responsible for this, I'm gonna use that. You know what I mean? I'm gonna use the pecking order. In, in, in common day to day life, doesn't mean anything to me. But when it comes time to, okay, who's to blame for Ron and Fez starting late, that would be Eric Nagel. Yep. He gets paid more than you do. He does. He gets paid. And Mars, it's good you brought that up because Eric gets paid a lot more than me. Correct, Eric? Uh, so you say. Yes, we will. Eric, play the song at the end of the interview. It's on the computer over there. Mars has to play it. Okay. Where is it on the computer? Where? It was set up. Did you close it out? I'll be right there. Hang on. Okay, yeah. Just come here and set it up so we have it. Because we're going to play the song at the end of the big Loverboy interview. I guess they're going to the bathroom right now. Hey, Sam? Yeah. Management's on the phone in the office here, and they said absolutely they're not going to miss Loverboy. <laughs> okay, so this is a priority for the channel right now. I hope Ryder Fest people are listening. I don't want to step on any toes, but who for management said that? Is he still in there or is no, he coming around? Okay, I'll, well, I'll ask him when he gets here. Eric, who for management said that? One of the cute guys. Rob Cross. They're yeah. Here. Okay, Rob Just Cross said that, email? so uh, he's even know. higher than Eric. Yeah, they're, here. they're coming in now. Ladies and gentlemen, here they are, Lover Boy Paul? in the building. Hey, in the room. Paul Dean, make yourself comfortable. Yeah. You can just grab that I seat. Can I sit over here by the guitar? I'm Mike, gonna... yeah, sit yes, over by the guitar. Stay. Mike Reno, it's a pleasure. How you doing, man? Lover Boy is in the house. This is uh, after Opie and Anthony live. This is just so you get a. F that's my uh, pal. The you. They're all on. They're hey, all on. With the babes. That's yes, Eric. Sir? He knows Paris Hilton. You know, they kind of have a friendship. Um, we're already tuning up the guitar. This is amazing. This is like a, a show where we kind of let whatever happen yeah. happen. You know what I mean? I hear you. Like the behind the scenes stuff, we're going to let it go on the air. Good. That's why it's a little, you know, off the cuff. All the warts and farts, so to speak. That's right. That's exactly right. You want uh, a Diet Pepsi? Yeah, sure. One is coming up for you, Mike Reno. That's lunch for me. Uh, no, <laughs> Diet Pepsi. Thanks. Now, let me ask you guys this. You were on uh, Fox News earlier today. <laughs> yeah. what, what was it like being in front of the crowd again? Well, you know what? We play a lot of concerts. so it wasn't Sure. Like, we did, uh, it's the TV cameras that kind of throw you off. But you know what? It was fun. Yeah. They, uh, they played a bunch of, uh, you know, they let us play for a whole hour, on, and it was great. Did you see the uh, Sirius XM signs that says, we love Loverboy? Yes, we did. They were throwing them up in the crowd. I guess that's the secret. Like, if you book interviews after your concerts... Whoever you got interviews with would just come down with some signs. <laughs> exactly. Because we were watching on one of the TVs up here and we didn't see. You know, the Obi and Anthony show has been on Fox News a lot lately. Yeah. Because we, you know, the, the Wiener scandal. I know. We're the show that let the picture out. Are you kidding? Yeah, yeah. The show that people have been talking about like all day yesterday. And there it is now. That was us. Is it? Yeah, they're talking about us again. So now, we know what it's like to be in the spotlight, just like Loverboy. What are the chances of the guy with the name Wiener... Taking a picture of this his is wiener. what he's doing. You'd think he'd have more sense than that, you know. Now, a couple fans actually called in. One, Anthony is a regular caller to the show and a big fan. Uh, he called in when he found out that you guys were coming in. 
because he wanted to know. Uh, there was a Lover Boy contest on MTV. Is this correct? <laughs> there, <laughs> was, there was a there few, was many but of I, them. Yeah. The music video. Uh, oh yeah. Being Lover Boy's music video. That's a yeah. Great story. Now yeah. he was saying that uh, in this contest, a girl got to be the girl in the music video. Right. And what happened was uh, a a fat slob type type girl kind of won the contest. Right. Did you? <laughs> I'm glad you agreed. And uh, it, did it, you it guys realize it wasn't that she was she was weird looking? She was plowed. She was. <laughs> she was waiting around. She waited around as long as we did, probably longer. Uh -huh. And by the time her thing came, she was she was plastered. She could hardly walk. So and that's why they. She was drunk and a little overweight. And well, she didn't want to get out of the. Uh, she didn't want to come out of the limo. She locked herself in the limo. Why? And drank all the booze in the limo. She was nervous. So she decided. So she. Could... Did you realize it was going to be a disaster when you saw her? I kind of had a feeling. Yeah. Yeah. I, and it, the deal was there was about 15 beautiful babes running around the catacombs in the uh, Mojave Desert. Mm -hmm. The wind was blowing naturally. The moon was coming down. And then all of a sudden, you know, Shrek comes out of the... <laughs> won't, <laughs> won't, won't get out of the limo. I mean, what do you do? Yeah. Are you, are, is that why she was only in for like a second? Yeah. yeah. That's exactly they, they shot right. around her. Let's put it like that. <laughs> we actually have a fan that wants to get through, uh, if you don't mind taking a call real sure, quick. Sure. This is uh, Pete. In Long Island, Pete, you're on After Opie and Anthony Live with Loverboy. WPLJ plays all the hits. Did I win? No, this is not <laughs> WPLJ. Oh, Sirius man. XM. I thought I, oh, I thought I won. Hey, Loverboy, love the, love the hits, man. Love those hits. Thank you. That, uh, over the 80s, you guys got me through uh, plenty of times. Lots of chicks uh, back in the 80s and... Uh, even though you look like a bunch of cocksuckers. <laughs> oh, jeez. You know, Pete. You look like a bunch of faggot cocksuckers. Pete, stop. <laughs> oh, nice. Jesus, yeah, real. Leather, you fucking red leather. Pete, Pete, I'm going to hang up on him. Listen uh, to that. I'm going to hang up on him. Do you mind? I think he has some anger issues, yeah. doesn't he? Did he eat the rest of the band, you fat Jeez, okay, I hung up on him. He's gone. Oh, uh, man. That's the thing about satellite radio. It's like you go to a live caller, they tell the call screener, yeah, you know, I want to talk about, and then all of a sudden they think it's their show. You know what I mean? I hear you, Ed. But you get... probably you probably had to deal with negative criticism a lot, as you know, in a it famous happens. band. You know what? Nobody used to like us, but the people that came to see us, all the reviewers, <laughs> used to say something negative. Was, yeah, who cares? We um, just have fun. You're, you're working for the weekend has been used by so many different people. I mean, every morning zoo uses it to start the weekend. Still to this day. Uh, it was used on uh, SNL, right, in the Chris Farley, Patrick Swayze sketch. That's my favorite. Uh, is that your favorite moment that well, it was used? I didn't know they were doing it, and I got, just caught it by accident. I was packing the bag, getting yeah. ready. The next morning, I was flying somewhere else to play some more shows, and I caught it by mistake, and I just thought it was hilarious, and I just rolled laughing. It was great. What do you guys think of all the... Did you guys realize when you put this song out that, you know, for the next 20 years, people would be using it to kick, to kick off the weekend on their radio shows? I don't know. I never thought it would about it. I, you don't write songs to to think that. I, I I never did. What do you think, Paul? I don't know. The only thing I know is that we the first time we played that tune, we were playing a little bar in on Vancouver Island. We played three sets, and the first two sets there was nothing going on. It was like a meat market, no dancing, just drinking. We opened the third set with "Working for the Weekend," and the dance floor was packed. So I figured this this is uh, it's, it's going to hit. This is a good song. Now, tell me this. Today is Friday. Yeah. I mean, the weekend is coming. Some people do have weekend jobs. We got the guitar. We got the oh, amp. I see what you're getting at. What are the odds that we could get, you know, even a verse of it? You, well, you've come to the right place. I and love you got this. the right people. Yes!
on a piece of my heart. Yeah! <laughs> Lover boy, that was beautiful. On After Opie and Anthony Live, that was fantastic. <laughs> After all these years, you guys still got it. Ah, thanks. Bro. You know what I mean? You still got it. Uh, one more question. Uh huh. In the uh, the video for Working for the Weekend. Right. Your drummer in the freeze frames. Oh, yeah. Making some very strange faces. Animated. Why and how? French, Canadian, very emotional. Uh, he just plays the drums with his face, his whole body. He's a very physical guy. And he hits those drums. He's like, da! you should hear when we record. And you just solo the drums. You can hear him going. <laughs> Did he not realize that he looked silly? Ah, uh, you know what? Silly is kind of relative, don't you think? I think you're right. Yeah. And, the, uh, I think wrestlers look silly. You do? You know what I mean? They got I, the, with the funny outfits and the thingies. and they're, But they're so know. tough. They're tough. You know, you don't want to mess with them. Um, well, we appreciate you guys stopping by. Mike Reno and Paul Dean from Loverboy. We're going to uh, close the show with your new song. Awesome. Because it's not like, you know, you guys just made one song back then, or a bunch of songs back then. Yeah. You're still making music. We are trying. You trying know? Trying our very best. Tell, uh, tell us a little bit about the new song. Paul, you want to talk about it? Bob Rock, one of the biggest producers in the world. I, probably the biggest thing he's done is Metallica. He did a few albums with them, and he's done... I saw him on the documentary, I that's think. That's right. Yes. That's right. And Brian Adams and Bon Jovi. Well, he was our original engineer back in 1980 and he called us up about six months ago and said I got this tune I think you'll like it it sounds like Mike could sing the hell out of this tune and he, he sent it to us and I said this is perfect this is exactly for Mike so we uh, we recorded it that's we, great we demoed it to death and uh, we got together we cut it in two days rehearsed it and recorded it and mixed it in two days unbelievable two songs absolutely and here it is Heartbreaker by Loverboy thank you guys so much for stopping by after Opie and Anthony Lawson. awesome man Sex Bagel hit it.
after we left on Friday, it got wild around here. Oh, yes. <laughs> Sam's show there. Sam's hour oh, show. Oh, my God. I guess it's your show now. Yeah. All right. Yeah, now it's Sam's show. It was it's supposed Sam's to be show. O&A clips. <laughs> that he kind of intros, but yeah. now, it's, uh, now it's more about everything that's going on right after the show ends. Yeah. And uh, Sam is now booking guests, and he booked the lover boy <laughs> for the 10 o'clock hour on Friday. Oh, my God. And uh, we were fucking with Sam so bad on the way home. I don't know if people heard it, because a lot of people, unfortunately, tune out after we leave. And I don't think they should. <laughs> I know we make fun of the fucking shit hour, but it's a pretty fun hour to listen shit to. Hour. Uh, I do have to say that. Uh, but Sam booked the lover boy, and me and Ant were... Back and forth calling Sam and beating the shit out of him. And then Ant fucking hit it out of the park. <laughs> I had a, you hit it out of the park. I just had to make Sam uncomfortable. That was my goal. <laughs> and we got it. We got the clip. Yeah. So we got the whole lover boy thing that happened on Friday after the show. It's definitely worth uh, sticking around, so stay there. Wait, 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 wait. Do one question. Do you have the other clip? What happened? Oh, you do? Okay. What? Because yeah. I, I wanted to meet lover boy, but I couldn't. Oh. What? Are you part of this? No. It's the other CD. There's no, I wanted to meet Loverboy, but I couldn't because I was. What other CD? I'm I'm confused. Is it something we should like? Kinda... Oh, it's very very fast. It's it's, it's literally. I just I didn't know if Iraq gave it to you before I forgot. E to the R. Oh, okay. That's what was happening. Well. Oh, okay. All right, so we'll uh, we'll yeah. play that too. Very good. All right, stay there. Mm -hmm. After we left Friday, Ooh. Sam was doing his uh, ten o'clock hour thing. And uh, he booked Loverboy. <laughs> yes. Why did you book Loverboy? I think he was goofing. Are we responsible for that hour officially? <laughs> Not anymore. All right, let's good. be honest. But good to know, because we would have never booked Loverboy. Because they were on Fox News that morning, and we were making fun of them because there were Sirius XM signs in the crowd that we had obviously planted. Right. The company, we, not the show, we. Mm -hmm. um, and so then E-Rock said in my ear, they're going to be up here at 10 o'clock. And so I texted E-Rock. Book him on the 10 o'clock hour, joking around. That's a joke. So when the show ended, E-Rock goes, okay, and you got Loverboy at 10.30. And I go, what? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? The best part was, uh, I think you only did 45 minutes on Friday. I yeah. don't think you did a full hour. The whole 45 minutes was the build-up to the big Loverboy <laughs> oh, interview yeah. that was less than three minutes, I think. To the point where uh, <laughs> I was like, look, we're running out of time. we got to give Ron and Fez time. Rob Cross actually laid down the law. Ron and Fez can start late. We're going to get so to Loverboy No, Lover Boy we're getting Loverboy. Don't worry. Don't worry. So Sam had Loverboy in. Safe to say you don't know anything about these guys. I didn't even know that they sang Working for the Weekend. Until, really? Yeah, I didn't know that was them. And um, Like Liam had to run in and give me a press release while I was on the air and had to write down the names of the people that were walking in. You, Of course, the whole time I'm trying to prep, you guys started all the fans prank calling me throughout the entire show. What are you show. talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. I was well, driving home. I, wasn't I was fucking, just driving home with Kenny. I wasn't even listening. Well, That's somebody, Opie, was calling in uh, thinking it was Pearl Jam Radio. I, I don't know what you're talking oh. about. And then when I said it wasn't, called in requesting customer service. Of course, good luck. E Rock yeah. said in my headphones, That's Opie. Oh, he <laughs> yeah, had to tell you? As if I didn't know. Oh, that. oh, oh good thing E Rock was there. <laughs> yeah. you, good Good thing you got E Rock on your side to keep everything like in the know. Then you had Anthony <laughs> who kept calling in, asking for, uh, as addressing me as Martha Quinn. <laughs> that was the wow. I, and I, I, I heard that part, but somebody apparently was calling you and and saying, "Is Martha Quinn there?" Because you were going to play '80s music, <laughs> yeah. I guess. The show no. is all about the 80s. <laughs> it was Martha the 80s Quinn. channel. <laughs> and then the phone banks completely lit up with people just trying to call what? into other channels. And what do you think Martha <laughs> Quinn's problem is? Because she can't be that happy to be playing 80s music still. No, she can't. So what else was she going to do? But what is her problem, you think, with that fake over-the-top happiness and enthusiasm for oh, the 80s? Oh, that she's always been the little fucking... The little pixie? Yeah, the little pixie. But she's still very excited and happy to be playing. Oh, 80s. she loves the '80s. <laughs> Who doesn't? Oh, I think she's faking it. Almost as much as Wiener loves grabbing his dick. My dick. I've he never seen that. anybody love this. He adores his cock. Loves his cock in the Latin sense of the word, meaning adorare. The one would worship the way one adores the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Fears the sun. I'm more creeped out by the fucking face he makes in those pictures. By the way, yeah, the face is like. I mean, the, seeing the dick is one thing. But it's that, like top that, of the shoulders. But up to the top of his head, and he's just like uh, he's making this uh, snarl, like he's yeah. like he's shooting a load. Look in those eyes, man, because you're going to be looking at those pictures today. That's what's creeping me out more. That yeah. look of his is like, what the fuck mm -hmm. is he doing? Something else is going on. And I think I think there's more to this. He's a creep, and I, we all know it. We don't need any more for them to kick him out 
of Washington, but more yeah. will come out. I think you're right. The more will come out. I think so. But they have enough to go, look, this guy is a fucking weirdo, man. I don't care how, how good of a po- young politician he is. Yeah. There's something going on with this fucking cat. Uh, oh, we got to play the E-Harmony, too, maybe. We can end the show with that. All right, anyway. So we got Sam doing the Loverboy interview, and I'm so glad... I was calling at the exact same you were to ask the exact same fucking question. Really? I swear to you. Yeah. Because yeah. there's one thing that me and Ann have been obsessed with as far as Loverboy. When Loverboy comes up, I think you brought up uh, the first time, but there was a there was a big um, contest that yep. MTV ran for Loverboy. Loverboy was fucking huge for yeah, MTV. I oh. guess so. And and <laughs> and they had this huge promotion where you could be in a, a Loverboy video. Yeah, you win a contest and be in their next video. And uh, back then, it was huge to be in a video. And Loverboy was known for having pretty hot chicks in their videos. Yeah. So they they finally get the the winner of this contest, and and it was a big fat slob. Yeah, and she a was. Wreck. And what makes this so funny? After the the amount of time MTV put into this contest, she was on screen for. Didn't we figure it out once? Like it was it, less than a second. It was right. <laughs> it was less than a fucking. I, I think second. We, we did this whole thing where we played the video and we saw her. Saw her. Excuse me for less than a second, and you know damn well if she was a hot girl that she would have been in the video a mm-hmm. lot. Yeah. But they're like, oh fuck, the rules say we got to put her in, so she's in like for an eighth of a second or eight <laughs> eight tenths of a second or something like that. Anyway. Ant was able to ask Loverboy about the famous contest and the fat pig in the video. Yeah, well, very no, this excited. Isn't, this isn't Ant asking Loverboy. Ant, I did. asked. I, I asked you to ask the yes. question. Yep. Right, but Ant got it going because you didn't yeah. know about this, really. I had no clue. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I guess. So Ant, uh, Ant asked a question, or you, uh, whatever. Here's Loverboy right. explaining the whole thing. Yeah. Now, a couple fans actually called in. One, Anthony is a regular caller to the show and a big fan. Uh, he called Dick, in when he found out that you guys were coming in because he wanted to know. Uh, there was a Loverboy contest on MTV. Is this correct? <laughs> there, was, there was a there few, was but many I, of them. Yeah. The music video. Uh, oh, yeah. Being Loverboy's music video. That's a yeah. great story. Now, yeah. he was saying that uh, in this contest, a girl got to be the girl in the music video. Right. And what happened was uh, a, a fat slob type type girl kind of won the contest right did you <laughs> right i'm glad you agreed <laughs> and uh, it, did it, you it guys realize that she was she was weird looking she was plowed she was <laughs> she was waiting around she waited around as long as we did probably longer uh-huh and by the time her thing came she was she was plastered she could hardly walk so that's why they <laughs> she was drunk and a little overweight and well, she didn't want to get out of the uh, she didn't want to come out of the limo she locked herself in the limo why and drank all the booze in the limo she was nervous so she decided so she could, did you realize it was going to be a disaster when you saw her? I kind of had a feeling. Yeah. Yeah. I, and it, it, the deal was there was about 15 beautiful babes running around the catacombs in the uh, Mojave Desert. Mm-hmm. The wind was blowing naturally. The moon was coming down. And then all of a sudden, you know, Shrek comes out of the... <laughs> Sure. Won't, won't get out of the limo. I mean, what do you do? Yeah, you are, is that why she was only in for like a second? Yeah, yeah. That's exactly. They, they shot around her. Let's put it like that. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't want to like Loverboy. I I, I love listening to this. That whole answer thing. was great. Yeah. yeah. Now I wish we had him on the show because Shrek. I love when these guys are honest about shit. Yeah. What do they have to? What do they have to worry about? I not guess, being honest. I guess you're that right. Woman's probably fucking fifty five <laughs> years old now, and <laughs> they were so bombed, man. They thought they'd get oh, some yeah. hot young thing that yeah, loves them on fan. MTV. You know, when they were playing live back then, it was just babes in spandex in front of the stage. Yep. And they figure, oh, we'll do a contest. We'll get one of these fucking hot chicks. They'll be enamored by us. And they just got this pig. <laughs> <laughs> she had a headband on, right? Yeah. That, they try to make her look a little better. They put all kinds of shit on they her. Used they the- filmed her from the back quarter view. Right. They should have used the heart lenses. Oh, the ones they use on the heart videos. Well, there's yeah. like a little Where it faded. stretches. Uh, yeah, the heart. It's like a stretch fucking circus mirror. Yeah, the heart uh, videos had to have a lot of Vaseline on the lenses. Yeah, I think they put precautions just in case something like that happened yeah. in this contest. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So then Ant uh, gets through. I why well, during the big lover boy? I mean, yeah. The, the no, I like that the people know. Yeah, oh, I well, know. Well, they're going to figure man. it out anyway, but just in case they don't, Ant, on the Ant phone called as a prank caller. On the phone screen, it said, Ant, call him Phil, I think was the name he was going by. And I knew what his intentions were, but I also knew that he, it's not like I have the option of not taking his call. <laughs> it's Opie and Anthony. I have to take the call when he calls. But, uh, so I go, okay, well, this is. I'll get a couple questions out. 
and then it'll turn I south. I know you get beat up a lot, but I applaud you today for not hanging up. I wasn't going to hang up on and it. And <laughs> sitting there as it got more and more uncomfortable. I do applaud you for that today. Well, I mean, I kind of enjoy that, Because most guys, too. like an E-Rock or somebody, no offense, you would have you bailed. You wouldn't have been able to handle it. Because oh. this gets really yeah, he uncomfortable. he was amazing. <laughs> Listen to the audio, because at one point I actually asked the guy from Loverboy if I can hang up on the hand. <laughs> just because I wanted to keep him on as long yeah, as of possible. Course. We actually have a fan that wants to get through, uh, if you don't mind taking a call real quick. Sure, sure. This is uh, Pete. In Long Island, Peace. Pete, you're on After Opie and Anthony Live with Loverboy. WPLJ plays all the hits. Did I win? No, this is not <laughs> WPLJ. Oh, Sirius man. XM. I thought I, oh, I thought I won. Hey, Loverboy, love the, love the hits, man. Love those hits. Thank you. That, uh, over the 80s, you guys got me through uh, plenty of times. Lots of chicks uh, back in the 80s and... Uh, even though you look like a bunch of cocksuckers. <laughs> oh, jeez. You know, Pete. You look like a bunch of faggot cocksuckers. Pete, stop. Oh, nice. Jesus, yeah, red real. Leather, you fucking red leather. Pete, Pete, I'm going to hang up on him. Listen I'll, to that. I'm going to hang up on him. Do you mind? I think he has some anger issues, yeah. doesn't he? Did you eat the rest of the band, you fat fuck? Jeez, okay, I hung up on him. He's gone. Oh, uh, man. That's the thing about satellite radio. It's like you go to a live caller, they tell the call screener, yeah. You know, I want to talk about, and then all of a sudden they think it's their show. You know what I mean? I hear you. Look, I, I, I love uncomfortableness. That's that's uh, tough. Uh, that yeah. was tough to hang in there, man. It's so it. easy to be brave uh, on the other in your side. truck on the phone. But that's tough Especially to let that go on like that. The environment is that they're coming <laughs> into this the show. The <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're coming on this show that they weren't booked for <laughs> yeah. until five minutes ago. There's some young guy behind the board who obviously doesn't know what he's talking nah, about. He's like an intern. It's just a weird <laughs> thing going on. It had a, such a weird vibe. And then you're calling uh, in. <laughs> stupid Pete from Long Island had a call. And, and calling him fat and gay. Right. And gay. <laughs> gay think, and fat. I think we just came up with a yes. new bit, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got a new bit. Yeah. Sam, you're going to have some very uncomfortable moments oh, yeah. right. in the coming months. There may be some post-10 o'clock guest bookings, oh, yeah. I, I think. I'd find out later that Liam... It's the, the best way to do this. Yes. Liam, the talent booker, was in the other room, in the phone screen room, because he thought this was all just like a fun thing with Sam, <laughs> oh, and all of a sudden no. you go, you cocksucker, <laughs> and he's going, oh no, and he puts his hands on his head, because apparently uh, Loverboy <laughs> has the same publicist as Simon and Garfunkel oh, and all no. these major acts oh, that he wanted to book. a fuck oh, about boy. Simon and Garfunkel. Oh, exactly. Shit. Were they going to, to oh, oh. Cardboard Fair or something? What? Oh, this Hall and Oates was the band. Armor up there. Yeah. Uh, oh, Hall and Oates. Hall and Oates was the one you, they were working on booking, Anything and then chip? all of a sudden, <laughs> we don't need Hall and Oates on our show. Well, Hall not, and no, Oates on the cha on the platform. What <laughs> That's platform? it. It's Sirius XM. Oh. It's not just hey, your show. Hey, oh, no, you Hall and Oates, show. where you going with them? Down to the Oates store? Oh, you're Hall and Oates. That's kind of funny, actually. That's what my mother would say if she wanted me to hurry up. She'd say, Haul <laughs> you better start Hall and Oates, Chipper. Why'd she want you she, out of the house? She didn't like to use dirty language. Like if I was running late for school, she'd say, they better start hauling oats, Chipper. Hauling oats. Well, well if her friends good. were coming over. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Friends. Instead of hauling A. Yeah, I get it. Ass. Friends were coming over. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, we're the platform, so. No, the platform. <laughs> no, so we're the platform. Channels. So if we say who gives a fuck, that's all that matters. Okay. I mean, some people would disagree, but I'm on your side. Who's going to get the big hauling oats booking? Oh. I'd probably give them a channel. Oh, they would? Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, they'd probably do a hauling oats channel if they could get hauling oats. But instead, they got... <laughs> uh, really? You don't think that's a good channel? Instead, no. they got Pete in Long Island. <laughs> I started laughing when I was saying cocksuckers. I Because I, I was like, <laughs> cocksuckers. I, I gotta hear that again. I couldn't fucking hold it in. <laughs> Fuck it, let's hear it again. We actually have a fan that wants to get through, uh, if you don't mind taking a call real quick. Sure, sure. This is uh, Pete in Long Island. Pete, you're on After Opie and Anthony Live with Loverboy. WPLJ plays all the hits. Did I win? No, this is not WPLJ. Oh, Sirius man. XM. I thought I, oh, I thought I won. Hey, love a boy. Love the, love the hits, man. Love those hits. Thank you. That, uh, over the 80s, you guys got me through uh, plenty of times. Lots of chicks uh, back in the 80s. And uh, even though you look like a bunch of cocksuckers. <laughs> oh, jeez. You know, Pete. You look like a bunch of faggot cocksuckers. Pete, stop. Oh, nice. Jesus, yeah, real. Fucking red Pete, 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 I'm going to hang up on him. <laughs> Listen I'll, to that. I'm going to hang up on him. Do you mind? I think he has some anger issues. Yeah. Did you eat the rest of the band, you fat... Jeez, okay, I hung up on him. He's gone. Oh, right. man. That's the thing about satellite radio. It's like you go to a live caller. 
they tell the call screener, <laughs> yeah. you know, oh. I want to talk to Bob, and then all of a sudden they think it's their show. You know what I mean? Oh. I hear you. How fat is he now? He's so, I mean, <laughs> yeah, he's heavier than he was. He certainly <laughs> isn't. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know if he ate the rest of the band. But. Put on a <laughs> Where are they from? Canada? It's a yes, weird I accent. So, They're yeah. Canadian. I Canadian? thought, I thought Canadian at one point, thing? too, when I was going through the beginning of it, that <laughs> Sam was going to hang up on me and leave me hanging there like I just made a good call. <laughs> <laughs> like fucking man oh. queer did to me. <laughs> I knew. I was, no, I was too, having too much fun riding that wave up, and I wanted to see <laughs> you it fall right it was down. I knew it was coming back down. It's also like you have to realize that. That even though like we're playing back the audio now and we're laughing and it was just like whatever 30 40 seconds long yeah that was a long <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah. sitting there seconds. looking that's, at them that's why i give you credit that the had new, to be brutal the new bit is called rodeo we're gonna see how long, <laughs> how long can I hang in there rodeo. Un uncomfortably <laughs> oh, okay yeah. as we call from our cars <laughs> That was and then, uh, brutal. And then and <laughs> the big get sam got him to play a little working for the weekend oh and, yeah and they, they only gave you this. a minute 30 seconds well, of it because they weren't trying to play this song they had they were but it was friday and that's what i said they were prepared to play another song you, what, 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 what other song are you gonna play it on a friday a swing on my show and they a tuesday stopped, they stopped it right before they were getting to the part where he was gonna have to give that little scream try to hit a note he was tired of singing it. he wasn't hitting these notes so he wasn't oh, yeah. really it, it, it was, was friday difficult. yeah <laughs> i mean the weekend is coming some people do have weekend jobs we got the guitar we got the oh. amp I see oh, I'm sorry. Nice the clip is a minute 35. Now we're down to a minute 25. Well, yeah. How, I mean, how, how much the, uh, of the song did they do? I, they, gave us a, they gave us a verse and a hook. Fucking anal cunt has longer songs than this. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> but you're getting at. What are the odds that we could get, you know, even a verse of it? You, well, you've come to the right place. I and love you've got this. the right people. Yes! <laughs> it sounds psyched. Ow. <laughs> Just a, eh, it was oh. everyone's. Eh, it was all flat. Right it's a there. rough takeoff, yeah. but it's smooth sailing once you get up there. Is that it? To see what you will do. Everyone's looking at you. Sounds like it hurts. Everybody wants a new romance. Everybody's going off the deep end. Everybody needs a second chance. Oh, you want a piece of my heart? Yeah! <laughs> Lover boy, that oh, was beautiful. On I after Opie and Anthony live, that was fantastic. <laughs> after all these years, you guys still got it. Ah, thanks. Bro. You know what I mean? You still got it. But 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 he didn't get to answer the question. What question? Peace in my heart. And then he you better start it. from start. Yeah. Then he answers. You want to be in the show? And then it's come on, baby. baby let's, let's go. Oh, he's got to be a little he's high. Not hit that. No. Yeah. He's not hit down, that. down, 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 down. Yeah. And then it, well, that's start of the bit. Rodeo. It's Rodeo. Sam Roberts. Rodeo time with Sam Roberts. <laughs> it's also <laughs> nice. I'm, I can't wait. I'm going to be able to put together a best of the after <laughs> Opie and Anthony live show. What? <laughs> what? It's going to be a show of just the best of the, the ten o'clock. That's hour. right. Next time I'm not here, I'm putting together a best of the 10 o'clock hour show. <laughs> or when we're on vacation. Who's yeah, because that's hilarious. What best of the 10 o'clock hour? you got about seven minutes so far, maybe. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's great. That's with commercials and a live yeah, read. Yeah. Listen, last week you had that. You had the morning mashup fighting with each other, yeah. and you uh, had you guys Twitter battling the wiener picture. That's true. Last week was a major show. Wow, that show was on your show. Uh, yes. So our show didn't even break that. No. No, 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 it did It was uh, Sam Roberts' uh, shit hour was the one that uh, actually so broke that. After Opie and Anthony Live. Oh, oh, I thought, <laughs> yeah, sorry. No, I didn't know the name had changed. Bobo named it shit, oh, shit hour. Shit hour. A, a little. <laughs> one of the most brilliant things. <laughs> a little less, uh, a little uh, constructive criticism. Please. Oh, oh. Quit less morning mashup. You think so? Ooh, Sick of them. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wait oh, till yeah. that word gets out. Ooh. A little less. Mm. Okay, Small no Small doses with those guys. You think so? Yes. Wait till that word gets out. Yeah. No problem.
No joke. <laughs> I don't oh, want to take it man. as a joke. No joke. Next time they're in here, about three minutes in, I'd I'm going to say let ban them, but just a little less. A little bit less. A little less. Yeah. Three to four minutes in, I'll just kick them right out of the studio and say, you've, you've filled your quota. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You're done. Okay. Everybody's working <laughs> for <laughs> the weekend. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's working for the weekend. Jimmy. I don't know the, the other part of it. If I had the lyrics, I'd do it, but I don't know how the lyrics... I like to sing, man. You want the lyrics? You can sing us out today. I'll sing a little bit. As Sam uh, finds that, uh, I think we played this already. More teens are having fuck, having luck, rather, finding summer jobs. Oh, shit. We didn't play that. I thought it was everywhere. It was a great story when, uh, before she corrected herself. Oh, yeah. Wow. Uh, (laughs) She won't get fired, by the way. No, that was an inadvertent slip of the... Of the fuck. Hell, What's man, the tempo with this? If Ernie Anastas didn't get fired for this, <laughs> keep fucking that chicken. You know, that. keep <laughs> fucking that then, chicken. Then she's not going to get fired because people ask me. What's the tempo with this? You want to hear the original just to get? Yeah, a little, I do. Just actually, to, all right, thirty oh, seconds the of the original. original. Yeah. Come on, Travis. The old. Oh, thing. someone's busy. Someone's not paying attention. Someone's. Oh. Just, uh-huh. just play it. Someone's Travis. doing other stuff. Just grab it, play it. Travis just did his best Iraq impression. Exactly. It was, it was impeccable. Exactly. Aha! Uh-huh. Sending out cock pictures. My dick. My dick. dick. Grabbing a dick. <laughs> what are you doing? Just grab my dick. My dick. My dick and shit. <laughs> ah, here we go. Yeah. Woo! I hate to sing along or are you gonna do it? No. Acapella? <laughs> Acapella, man. I don't share the stage. Just playing on a Monday sucks because, you know, we're working for the weekend. Jimmy's feeling it, so he can do it. Let us know when you're ready, Jimmy. Jimmy's ready, man. Everyone's watching to see what you will do. Everyone's looking at you. Oh, everyone's wondering. Will you come out tonight? Everyone's trying to get it right. <laughs> to get it right. Yeah, yeah, Jimmy. That was good. Wow. You didn't do the working for the weekend part. Everyone's working <laughs> for the weekend. <laughs> Is that how I call it? Everyone's working on the weekend. <laughs> no, you don't work on the weekend. Sure it is. Uh, it's, uh, Some people it's, have to, yes. The, the but, chorus is but a little this different. This is the song yeah. for the common man. Monday you want a piece Friday. of my heart? <laughs> 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 Fucking good, man. I play games. That's good shit right there. Yeah, that will start hurting my throat soon. Oh, yeah, you're yeah. not going to be able to talk. You don't feel like doing your 80s version of the good boy phone, bed boy phone, because there was a lot of 80s talk today. If you don't want mm-hmm. to, it's fine. Another day, we're here. He's, ga- He's got a good boy phone and a naughty boy phone. A naughty boy phone and his good boy's phone. A good boy phone and a naughty boy phone. A naughty boy phone and his good boy's phone. <laughs> That's it. He have a good boy phone and a naughty boy phone. A naughty boy phone and a good boy phone. A good boy phone and a naughty boy phone. A naughty boy phone and a good boy phone. Uh, I don't know how we here at After Opie and Anthony Live can follow uh, a show as epic as we had on Friday with Loverboy. Uh, you just heard highlights of it. On the Opie and Anthony show. And, I mean, later on, I think later on in this after show, Eric, if you could make it happen, I would love to hear uh, Jim singing. Later on. Not right now. You don't have to cut it right now. Oh, but what he just did? Yeah, maybe when one of the bits are playing. Sure. We could replay it for some of the people who didn't hear it or probably want to hear it again because it was absolutely hilarious. At the end of the show, if you missed it, Jim Norton. Let it, did you know? that? You, I mean, he could have been an 80s icon. Yeah. Did you know. know he had that in him? I did not know, but it was it was amazing. Do you want to hear Eric what what did, what did we get from that? Did did you just pull the uh the long the verse he sang? Uh yeah, it's Jimmy doing the entire thing. Okay, so here is, you know, last week, last Friday, we had Loverboy in here and 
probably the most epic moment in after Opie and Anthony history, singing everybody's for the working for the weekend. Today on the Opie and Anthony show, eighties icon Jim Norton performed the same song. But didn't they ask for a sex bagel? Like, who's sex bagel? Yeah, actually, I'll, I'll t- let's play this song, and that's a good point, <laughs> Roland. This is Jim Norton uh, playing everybody's working that for the weekend. Evil look. Everyone's watching to see what you will do. Everyone's looking at you. Oh, everyone's wondering, will you come out tonight? Everyone's trying to get it right, to get it right. Yeah, yeah, Jimmy. That was good. Wow. You didn't do the working for the weekend part. Everyone's working <laughs> for the weekend. Is that how it goes? Everyone's working <laughs> on the weekend. <laughs> no, you don't work on the weekend. It. Sure it uh, it's, uh, Some people it's, have to, yes. The, the but, chorus is but a little different. This is the song yeah, for the common man. Monday you want a piece Friday. of my heart? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking good, man. I <laughs> play games. That's good shit right there. Yeah, that will start hurting my throat soon. Oh, yeah, you're yeah. not going to be able to talk. It was, I mean, it was well done. The hook was a little off at points. But, you know, looking at the whole package, it was well done. Uh, and I, I did want to add, too, we were, we played some clips of the Loverboy after O&A appearance on Obi and Anthony today. I didn't get to say on the air, but uh, Anthony got his prank call through. And afterwards... You know, I was telling the guys, thanks for coming by, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, just making sure everybody was okay. And uh, the lead singer for Loverboy, whatever his name is, goes, so, uh, Pete, who is that, your brother or something? <laughs> I, I, I don't know who it was. Probably a regular caller, though. I, I don't know. Let's avoid this topic altogether. <laughs> and, uh, then, and then Roland reminded me, too, just before the song played, that uh, Sex Man. Yeah. What did he ask? Because I said, uh, when, I, when you put the song on, I said, hit it, Sex Bagel. And then what did he talk to you about? We play the song, we kill the mics, and the song's playing it out to, uh, to commercial. He throws off his headphones, says, this is good, and then he goes, who's Sex Bagel? <laughs> so I was like, uh, that's me. <laughs> you embraced it. Yeah. But then he asked me if he could have uh, that name, because I guess he does a radio show in Canada. He's like a morning job in Canada. Morning, yeah, a morning show in Canada. He's like, can I use that name? I was like, all yours. He has a British accent? Well, whatever. <laughs> yeah, British Canadian. <laughs> That's funny. So he wants to use the name Sex Bagel on his yeah. show. Yeah, Sex Bagel, eh? You know, you have to realize that you, Eric Nagel, need to take position, possession of the name Sex Bagel, really embrace it, and franchise this shit. Every morning show should have a Sex Bagel. Agreed. I, th- yeah. Oh, I'm, like that's the new stump boy name kind of thing? Yeah, like, I mean, Turd had his run. <laughs> Sex Bagel <laughs> is so the new Turd. <laughs> All right. Don't you think so? I and mean, we could franchise this? You could be getting paid instead of just giving it out to 80s icons. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that. I'll call Bob. Well, it was a, it was a big week of uh, radio you call last Bob, week. He'll, he'll just keep the money. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we weren't trashing people anymore. Oh, that's right. Shit. <laughs> God damn it. It's, gonna, it's, it's all right. It's going to take time, Roland. It's going to take time to get there. That's right. 